Hey, beautiful. I'm really glad to be here. Today, I want to talk about leadership. Now, this is an interesting topic. For me, I feel a native experience with the word leadership. It feels good. I like it. I don't have cognitive dissonance around it. And yet, so many of the women that are in my community have not liked that word leadership. And for some reason, for them, it speaks of what I would call more patriarchal leadership, the idea of top down, the idea of telling other people what to do, the idea that one person has the knowledge and the rest don't, and they just follow. And rightly so, the women in my community are like, no, I'm a no to that. I'm a no to that. What I'm a yes to is a whole different way of seeing leadership. Leadership to me is owning your authority, owning that slice of influence that you have, owning your seat, owning your expertise, owning that you have a right and a say, and indeed, even further than that, you have a responsibility to speak your truth for yourself, the truth that you have in the moment, the truth that's in your body. That is a leader. A leader is not a people pleaser. We might have people pleasing issues come up here and there and leadership cause, uh, calls us forward. We get called forward, you know? So if I'm doing that, or if I'm running a guilt matrix and that's something that um, I can do around certain people like my mother, I can run a guilt matrix. So I get to stop myself and I get to come back into myself. And that would, that to me is the very simple process of coming back into my leadership. Okay. What's true for me. I don't need to push anyone away. When I do that, I actually expand in my like humility and my nobility Oh, that's like a Wayne Dyer saying, <laughs> my humility and nobility. I love that. I expand in that. My heart opens and my no is clearer. My no is cleaner. In fact, it doesn't have sticky, yucky, unprocessed material around it. It's just it's just clean. It comes, it's pure. It's like, no, I wish I could and no. How else can we do this? You know, what else is possible? A leader is in possibility. A leader sees possibility or a leader accesses possibility. Maybe she doesn't see it, but she knows that there's always a third way because duality always has the equal and the opposite, right? That Newtonian equal and opposite action reaction. So that's a description of duality, but we don't have to live in duality because our nature fundamentally is oneness. So we can tap into what I call the third way. The third way is this win-win scenario and leaders cause and create by their beingness a win-win, but that beingness starts with our truth. There's nothing to calibrate off of if we're, if we're too squirrely or too slippery and not willing to declare our truth. And when we are, then the world, the world, whoever is around you or the big world can calibrate to you speaking your truth. Have you ever done that before where you've kind of not wanted to say something like, Let's just use going out to dinner. You have not wanted to say that you want to go to this vegan place because you know other people don't have big stories about vegan places. I'm just making this up. But everyone's like hemming and hawing and doing all the things. And you're kind of like, oh, how about da, 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 how about the wild coconut? And everyone's like, well, I don't want to go to the wild coconut. And then you step forward with more owning of your authority. And you're like, you know what? I would really like to go to the wild coconut and I'd love to take you all. 
I'm convinced that y'all will find something that you love there. It's that good. Something like that, you know? That's, that's like owning it. And then people can calibrate off of that. Now, they, there's a, now there's a thing in the field where we can butt up against wild coconut or not wild coconut. I really don't know of a restaurant named wild coconut. I just came up with that. <laughs> but you get the point, right? Instead of being slippery, now everyone has something to calibrate and they may choose that now they're going to go, the, the group consensus can be something else. But I'll bet you even that something else has something in it that you will like because you've put a stake in the ground. Or, or you just agree that it's not that important, but your stake in the ground caused and created a decision to be made because you were willing to say what it was for yourself, to put yourself out there. That's really the leader of like putting ourselves out there. It's not dominating. It's not saying we're going to the wild coconut, whether you like it or not. Oh, that is, that's not going to get you very far, right? That's, that's a lot of the ways we were raised um, those of us in my generation and even in younger generations, our parents were raised like that, that somehow was confused with parenting. <laughs> Dominating was confused with parenting. And then we kind of went on the other way of like, okay, well, maybe we won't tell anything to our kids and let them run the show. And, and there's a, there's a third way. And this third way is this new understanding of leadership, of just owning your authority. And that there has a lot of humility in it because there's a lot of things I don't know, a lot of things I don't have authority in that I'm curious, that I'm open. So for me, leadership is like the infinity sign. It goes like this. And that's, that's the part where, at least in my community, in the Evolving Sisters community, we're leading and then we're following. We're teachers and we're students. And there's this beautiful flow because the truth is that that's, we're both. There's no more Piscean era. I bring in that distinction from Kundalini yoga of like that era of top down, that era of like Jesus Christ and Buddha and the era of um, those people are enlightened and the rest of us are not. Uh, or even like media outlets, these four channels are going to tell us everything that we should consume. That's over. Things are going to be, we're going to, we're going to give and we're going to receive. And that's more in the flow of the way that life actually works. <laughs>